Hello team and welcome to today's career video where I'm going to be sharing with you an awesome tool I use all the time that can help you create web applications for your job or personal use such as expense trackers, task boards, weather dashboards, or AI resume analyzers. And the primary tool that I'm using is VS Code. And for this example, we're going to submit a prompt to build a web application that summarizes and allows you to email notes. You'll see after entering in that prompt within just a few seconds, VS Code populates the file with the code for the application. You can view or make edits to the code if you'd like, or if you're good with it, you can select Keep. From here, with a free extension, you can open this in a live server and view your web application. If I want to make changes to this, let's say I want to remove the icons, I can head back to VS Code and ask it to remove those icons for me. And you'll see that VS Code makes the changes directly in the file, and I'm able to view each one of them line by line. When I'm good with it, I can select Keep, and heading back to my web application, that has already been updated. So let's jump in, and I'll show you how to set this up. To get started, you do want to sign up for a free GitHub account. Doing this will allow you to create repositories to store your code, as well as allow you to launch your application publicly if you'd like to. You also want to download Visual Studio Code, which again is free. And doing this will allow you to open folders and create files to store your code for your web application. And then finally, if you head to the extensions menu, I recommend downloading these three free extensions. Once that's done in Visual Studio Code, you can go to File and select Open Folder. Select the folder where you're going to be storing your code and open it. From here, you can create a new file. We'll call this notesapp.html. Then just paste in your prompt and send it off. And you'll see that just like before, the code has been generated for me that I can make edits to, or if I'm good with, I can just select keep. Again, we can right click and view this in a live server. And you'll see that just like before, I have my notes app created for me. Remember that you can make edits to this code. So for example, if I want to change the background color, I can change it in the code editor. And then when I refresh the live view, that's been updated for me. From here, team, you can copy and paste this code into a file that you can launch publicly or store it for your personal use. So team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.